Holy shit! That is a very far distance from me, from Nastea Street Second Bunker. Ah, good times. All right, so how's it going, everybody? My name is JC Gaming, and welcome to a Death Frontier 3D video. Yeah, I haven't done one of these in a quite a long time because honestly, after Death Frontier 2 is a you know it's more or less kind of a disappointment. And this, I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a goddamn break, and that's what I decided to do. But now that I'm back. I heard that there's a lot of updates going on and honestly I'm a little curious at how this game is developing, you know. I just came from playing Resident Evil 2 and let me tell you something, that game was incredible. It actually really did remind me of Death, of Death Frontier 2, honestly. The slow pacedness, you know, the looting, the areas, you know, it was, it, was, it was a very fun game. I liked it, I liked it. I played, like, I played it like, like, you know, six times. It was very fun. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, and after that I decided to play this game again, you know. Uh, something about this game I can just never quit. It's just very fun. It's very entertaining and I don't know It's just a very weird game that I cannot escape no matter how many times I want to leave it I just want to let it go. I want to leave it. <laughs> but anyway, for example people have been asking me Yo, you know, let's go back to my original, you know, Death Frontier name Killer, what are you gonna do with Death Frontier? Are you done? Are you done playing? My answer to that was I'm taking a break, and many of them assume that yeah, I, you know, Killer is pretty much done with this game. You know, it's it's always hard for me to quit a game that I put so many hours into. I mean, I have an unlimited Wraith Cannon and unlimited Dusk Enforcer. Why would I quit? No idea. But you know, it's it's whatever. If I'm not mistaken, I did get the X Dusk Enforcer at one point. I don't remember anymore, though. Now, I loved looting in this game. I love the bosses, but like you know, many people said, it got stale. You know. <laughs> And like I said, when I was playing Resident Evil 2, I just wish Amin would really just bring back the elements that, you know, 3D has and Im implement it into Death Frontier 2. You know, honestly, that's what made this game very fun. You know, you just go in there and go, Rah! you know, just, you just destroy everybody with the, with the minigun, you know. It doesn't matter that a grenade launcher or a minigun will be very OP. It just wouldn't because you're in a zombie apocalypse. And what do you do in a zombie apocalypse? You blow things up. You shoot things. You know, you make them go, no, you, you they, they go boom, 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 and they, they fall down, and they go into a mil um, thousand million pieces. So, I mean, I mean, who cares about balance? Just make a Death Frontier Apocalypse. You know, a zombie apocalypse is very fun, you know? What you think is fun, I mean, just it's implemented it into Death Frontier 2. I mean, you did it for 3D. I mean, sure, it was a bit of pay to win, but, you know, balance out the weapons in Death Frontier 2, you know? A minigun is supposed to be overpowered, you know? You go, Brah! You go like that, and you just destroy things. A grenade launcher, you see someone, you go, oh, word? I see a, I see a zombie. You know, they blow up into little little bitty pieces. You know, it'd be very fun to do that in Death Frontier 2. Obviously, with the with the upgraded graphics. You know, I feel like if you would have done that from the beginning, people would have something to have fun with. You know, I would be having loads of fun with the grenade launcher and a minigun, honestly. But again, it's not my game. Just little ideas here and there. You know, because in Resident Evil 2, once you you know do certain tasks, like for example, if you get an S plus or S and hardcore mode, hardcore mode or standard, you get an unlimited pistol, unlimited minigun, and unlimited rocket launcher. And let me tell you something. It's very fun to just go back and play it again because <laughs> all you're doing is just having fun with the zombies. You see, I see a zombie in Resident Evil 2, whether you know, in front of me, I'm like, oh yeah, boo, you know, like damn, you know, like they just blow up into little bitty pieces. It's very fun, you know. So I mean, I feel like that would work really well in an MMORPG. It, it'd just be fun. I mean, sir, I mean, obviously, you know, like with PvP and clans, you know, you get the unlimited pistol. Who cares? You know, it's it's a fun thing to do. That's why people come back when they unlock these things because it's just fun. You go out there and just, just you just blow everything up, you kill everybody with unlimited bullets, you know, it's whatever, I mean, just make the game fun. I feel like that's what lacked in Death Frontier 2, it just wasn't fun. It was repetitive, it was annoying, and it was stuff. But yeah. Anyway, so enough about that, uh, also, let's go back to the topic of Death Frontier 3D. What am I gonna do with this game? Honestly, I do wanna go to, I want, I do wanna go back to making looting videos, but do you guys prefer stream looting videos or just regular videos, you know, looting videos, you know, like edited and whatnot? Uh, people tell me to live stream. I have a Twitch account, honestly, and uh, I don't know. It's just weird streaming different to 3D because you know everybody pretty much left this game. I mean, granted, when I upload other games, it doesn't get many views because you know this channel is mainly different to 3D. <laughs> it's kind of kind of crazy, honestly. I did I did make this channel when I was like 14, and you know I do want to branch out to other uh, other communities, but you know just thinking about you know about you know having to start from base one it's kind of like a bit kind of you know upsetting but that's how it is in life you want to get somewhere in life you got to start from base one it's cool 
I, you know, I did come to terms with that, but it's whatever. I also need some other type of, you know, characters as well. Because, you know, it is fun playing with other people. Dude, now I'm just getting sleepy. I'm just walking in this stinking road, you know, like, oh, where are the zombies at? Where are the bosses at? I want to fight a boss. <sighs> Even if it's just a Wraith or a regular Titan, dude, where is it at? So let's just talk about something else. I'm sorry, I know we're going into many subjects, but dude, this is a very long road. I have to talk to myself and talk to you guys and keep this video uh, entertaining. Yo, when when Dev Exposure made a video on Death Frontier 2, I don't know why so many people wrote them. They were like, oh yeah, this isn't Death Frontier 3D anymore. You got some skills, noob. Like, you're just aiming and missing. I'm like, yo, you guys have that much hate for the man? Like, god damn, yo. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, Shadow's dead now. No, no, no longer pay to win faggots. I was like, what the heck? I didn't know Saturday had that much hate, honestly. I mean, I'm guessing because, you know, back then they were very, like, they were very uh, proud of their clan and, them, and their, you know, members. And I don't blame them. I mean, many people hate FaZe Clan because they're like, oh, yeah, you know, there's no longer Black Ops 2 or this is no longer Call of Duty. You just can't no scope people now. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, noobs, go back to Call of Duty. It's like, but, yeah, I, <laughs> that is true. When you have a successful, you know, uh, team, people just want to hate on it, you know? <laughs> it's kind of crazy, though. But hey, <laughs> it's whatever, you know, people were like, oh yeah, learn how to aim, noob, oh, that exposure, you suck dick or whatever, it's, it's just crazy, I was like, yo, I thought you guys loved the guy, <laughs> guess not. <gasps> oh, I hear some, oh, that's it? That's it? Th oh, well, let's, ma let's make this video epic, so here we go, three, two, one. Oh, that was fast. Less than the clip, and she's dead. And pfft, what a scrub. Anyway, I can't. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, well. Let's just do what we can. Oh my god, I'm retarded. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I kind of did lose some of my skills to pay the bills. You feel me? Like, that's what happens, though. You know, you. You some light. So we're gonna loot these guys real quick. Remember, I'm a non-go member, so heh, I'm not really having much faith. Yeah, Battle Axe, garbage. And we have a still MS80, 800 garbage. So for all you non-go members, now you know how I've, I know how you. Feel. This is an easier play, you know, thing. This is easier content to create, you know. Yeah, I just want, you know, now that I know more about editing and whatnot, I can make, the, you know, the clips funnier. You know, just have a good time. <laughs> Compared to like back then where I just upload a 40 minute you no know, video, which people didn't like back then, which was weird. I'm like, what? What? I can't, I can't, me? I can't sit through a 40 minute video, so I'd rather put like funny jokes in there. <laughs> Capture your, your attention. Oh, we finally made it, guys. We finally made it. Oh, the Sekronon Bunker. I don't know what the hell I was doing in that stage, and I hate myself for that, but yeah. This is a JC signing off, and I'll see you guys soon, very soon. So yeah. Bye, guys.